Hi everyone. So someone got hold of me through one of my other videos, there must have been some sort of harmonic in it or something, and said there wasn't really any great close-up videos of how to do um, harmonics. So there's a bunch of different ways. I'm just going to go through a couple, probably the two most common, palm mute or palm harmonic and then um, using one of the fingers, but sometimes people use the pinky, sometimes you use the nail of the pinky, there's tons of different ways. If you can get the harmonic, get the harmonic. Okay, we're going to go down low. Okay, and I'll try to do another angle of this, uh, maybe flat, but it's just kind of hard to see. So first let's talk about, um, and those are harmonics we're talking about. And on steel, it's great because you can just slide them, right? So, uh, and on pedal steel, you can use the pedals underneath them, okay? So, all right, so generally the theory. Um, you can do harmonics in a few different ways, um, just like on, all instruments, there's, there's, there's a mathematical thing that's happening there. But mostly what we're hearing, and, and if you're on this video, you're probably just trying to figure them out now. Let's talk about just the basic one, like the easiest one to get, the one that there's no, uh, you know, you don't have to transpose anything in your brain, it's the same notes, um, is gonna be the octave. So basically, wherever your bar is, and we're gonna do third fret here. Um, so we're on a G chord here in our tuning. Uh, but. Third, third fret, we're not going to move anywhere from there, all right? So the point is, is you, got, you have to hit this note that's a full octave up from wherever your bar is. So in our case, we've got to go to the 15th fret. Um, on most guitars, you know, mine doesn't exactly, but a lot of times it'll have, uh, you know, there's the dots correspond, usually the colors or the symbol will correspond from one octave to the other so that you can visually see it. Um, so what we do is we put our bar on our third fret, and the one that's the most common is you basically are using the back of your palm here, or whatever part of your hand, to, to be touching the string right here, and as you pick it with your thumb, and I will do a different angle in a second, uh, so as you're picking it with your thumb right now, I'm picking, and everyone's hand's different, but I, like my thumb is basically around the tenth fret here. And you hit it, and as you hit it, you're touching this string exactly 12 frets up, an octave up, and you have to lift off to get that harmonic. So, right? So, whatever your technique is, I mean, I'm kind of just bouncing the whole thing, right? That's our first technique. Now, let me, let me move the camera around and I'll see if I can get an even better angle. Okay, I'm not sure if this angle is any better. Uh, it's, Probably different for different people. So as you see, my thumb pick is all the way out here. It's kind of wherever it needs to be. It doesn't really matter. It's just figuring out the distance from your thumb to this palm relatively. And you can see I'm kind of, it's got to be mostly about the timing of hitting the note and bouncing off. Okay. Hopefully that's good. All right. Now let's talk about the other one. I'm going to go back to the different camera angle. So the other way that we could do it would be, um, same thing, we gotta figure out a way to pick the string and hit it with some flesh, although people will even do it with the pick. Right, that gives a really interesting sound. But more you see it where it's, you gotta take your arm and you really gotta, at least I do, you really gotta twist it. So it's basically point straight up the fretboard. And if I'm wearing a floppy shirt, like I often do, and I've got to pay attention to that. So you kind of are here, you turn your elbow all the way out, right? We got to get this sucker all the way going that way. And um, you're, okay, so wherever your thumb needs to go. Yeah, I missed one there, but uh, so this one's kind of tough for me. And again, I'll show another angle because my, my thumb and my, I'm doing my ring finger, but some, some people do pinky. It's really hard to see. Try to get a better angle in a second. Uh, I would tend to do my ring finger, but whatever floats your boat, you gotta get some sort of flesh and you gotta pick it at the same time. And obviously the theory is the same of, you have a little flesh on it, you pick it, you gotta pull it off. Okay. And same thing, we're 12 frets above here. All right, now I'm gonna to try to get a different angle of that. 
So here, uh, I, I apologize, I'm doing the 12th fret here because I'm actually holding the camera to try to get the best angle. I'm gonna do both hang, hand angles again. Um, so we're actually at the 12th fret open, right? So it's 12 up from open, I'm not holding a bar or anything, I'm holding a camera. So this is with the thumb in the flesh. Or some people will do, you know, there's other things, but lots of different ways to be getting it. But you can see that it's flesh, hit it, and we gotta bounce off. See there, I didn't get the timing. Okay, and our other one, since I got the camera here, of the palm muting, is we see that my palm is hovering above the 12th here. If you can see that, that's my 12th. And my thumb goes out wherever the heck it wants to go. I just gotta get used to the distance between my thumb and my fret there. So it just takes time getting used to it. Some nights are probably gonna be better than others. Back that up. So hopefully that's clear. Okay, hopefully that clears it up. That was actually pretty hard to do to get an angle. So hopefully one of those angles will get you to where you wanna go. Um, I know when you're starting out, sometimes you just get random harmonics because you, and it's like, oh my God, how do I get that? Uh, so uh, always remember 12 up, maybe if it's wanted, we'll do a deeper dive into doing different harmonic places or something like that. But generally 12 up from your bar and figure out a way to get a little flesh, pluck it and pull on off and then do what you do. Hope this helps y'all.